In a whirlwind of controversy and personal turmoil, the life of a steam TV personality Esther Aranga took unexpected twists and turns that left many questioning her journey. From her rise as a beloved media figure in Kenya to her subsequent departure from the limelight and relocation to Australia, Esther's story is a tapestry woven with both triumphs and tragedies. Born into a family deeply rooted in Seventh-day Adventist beliefs, Esther's path seemed destined for greatness from the outset. After completing her education at Kenya High School and the University of Wollongong in New South Wales, where she earned a degree in communication, Esther embarked on a career in journalism and broadcasting. Her talent and charisma quickly propelled her to stardom, earning her accolades such as the 2008 Chagua Lautinia's Award for Best Teen Television Anchor or Presenter. But Esther's aspirations didn't end with television fame. In a bold move, she announced the formation of the Platinum Centralizer and Unionist Party of Kenya, Placenta Party, alongside her co-founders. However, her political ambitions were short-lived as legal troubles engulfed the party, resulting in arrest and uncertainty. Amidst the chaos, Desta's personal life took center stage when she tied the knot with Quincy Timberlake, a decision that raised eyebrows and fueled speculation. Tragedy struck the couple when their young son met with a fatal accident, sparking a chain of events that would forever alter their lives, as the Australian authorities delved into the circumstances surrounding the boy's death. After being hit with a blunt object on the chest. The once high-flying television journalist Esther Arunga is now not new to controversies and misfortunes have become part of her life. Arunga is again on the lips of many, including her former admirers, after sensationally admitting to lying to a court in Australia about the circumstances surrounding the death of her son, who was three years old in 2014. When the boy died, Arunga told investigators that he fell on the house stairs, sustaining injuries thus passed on, but an autopsy report indicated the boy died after being hit with a blunt object on the chest. The former journalist, while justifying her sudden change of account, says her decision to lie was informed by the fears that her husband, Quincy Timberlake, would be incarcerated, thus leave her lonely with misery, and now claims she found Quincy throwing their son on the wall, claiming he was exorcising demons from their son. The prosecution says Arunga has derailed the investigations and she will know her fate on Thursday. Shocking revelations emerged. Quincy Timberlake stood accused of murder while Esther faced charges as an accessory. The once prominent media personality found herself embroiled in a legal battle that would test her resolve and unravel dark truths hidden beneath the surface. But perhaps the most puzzling chapter of Esther's saga was her involvement with the Finger of God Church led by her distant relative Joseph Hellon. From an engagement to one of the church's elders to allegations of coercion and manipulation, Esther's journey within the confines of the church revealed a side of her that few had glimpsed before. Through it all, Esther remained an enigmatic figure, alternately adored and scorned by the public, her story a cautionary tale of fame, the faith, and the perils of straying from the path. And as the dust settled on her tumultuous journey, the question lingered in the minds of many, what truly happened to Esther Aranga?